Oh, and wasn't there something about like daisy chaining in the soldier quarters as well? I wonder if the monster can turn the switches. That's a very good point, actually. Especially if the generator runs out and it feels comfortable walking around in the dark. Welcome back, dear viewers. This is the last part where we'll be joined by our Troxa, I'm sorry to say. But we'll also have my friend Mantis here for this part as well. All right, let's not waste any time. Just in case I come running and screaming from that direction. Not that I'd have any reason to. I just sneezed and muted myself because like, sneeze. But I think Art would pee his pants if I randomly sneezed in the middle of the corridor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> Especially okay. in like one of those ten sections. Oh my lord. Well, we're back. Oh my god, I forgot about the scary rats. Rats are cute. Whoa. What the fuck? These rats are not cute. Oh fuck. Okay, so, stay away from the rats. Rats are no bueno. Is it out of the walls? Right now I'm mainly looking for a key to open the communications room. If I can do that without attracting a massive monster, that would be great and without being bitten to death by rats. Oh? Does the game really pause when you're in a menu? That's lame. Yeah, it is a bit. I do appreciate it for reading notes though. Oh, it's in the wall. Whoa! What the fuck? Oh my god! <laughs> I wasn't ready really? for that. I love how Phil is just unfazed. I think I need the lights on in there to stop the monster and the rats. Yeah. I was not prepared for the rats attacking you, Jesus Christ. Yeah, me neither. Another thing I wonder is, do the fuel drain quicker if you have more lights on? Or what's the reason for like being able to turn them on and off like that? Yeah, I was wondering that as well. I would guess so. I mean, it would be the game forcing you to either look for more fuel or to conserve your fuel while keeping rooms not lit for the monster yeah. to come. A workshop, I think? Someone drunk on a table. Happier times. There's a party. That's nice. Finally, some positivity in this game. Do I want a flare? Nah. Any tools I can use. Doesn't seem so. Security. Could be weapons in there. Oh, a key. The key must be in there. Is everything in this darn game locked? Sure seems that way. I mean, it probably makes sense for a military site. And I am taking that flare.
Okay. What about this way? More bunks. This part disorients me so much. I do not believe a military bunker in the middle of war would have cabinets this empty. No! Shit! <laughs> uh... Not that way. Go away! Oh man. It doesn't see us, it's okay. No. No. <laughs> run, run, run. Oh no. Oh my lord. Is it still out? Oh. Breathe. You're not dead yet. Not yet, not yet. Signals with its brightly burning and loudly hissing flame. It won't like that, right? Oh my sweet Jesus. What if I throw this at the rats? Keep both them and the monster away. Oh god, are they attacking me? It doesn't have a code. Useless corpse. Ooh. Okay, buddy. Stay away from the scary light now, okay? Oh my god, I think it's walking around. Oh, Jesus. Oh! <laughs> Opens the menu. Oh, oh, oh. No, it's right there on the left. <laughs> okay, we're speed reading this like the flash. Going so fast the world around us is practically still. May 16th, 1916. Neuer has been telling us of the tunnel texts, describing what these tunnels were used for. But I didn't need him to tell me. I've seen it. I was in there, in the dark. I dream of it every night now. Dreams are so real that when I wake, the day itself feels like the dream. I'm at a ritual. It begins with the drinking of a liquid, sweet and thick, like mucus or honey, repulsive and yet intoxicating. As I drink, it warms my body, fills me with a lust for all things carnal, sex, blood, flesh. Around me are others, their faces hidden, their bodies rippling. I know we all serve the same master to the same end, a place in our unending kingdom. Immortality. The things I do in these dreams. A terrible whirl of horrors, bloody and twirled, that make the charnel pit of the war seem like mere play. I wake horrified, but in the dreams I am elated. The worst part, at the end of every day, I want to be asleep. I want to go back to that place. I want to feel that way. I want the violence and the ecstasy and the pitch black darkness. Yeah, so they're talking about that substance again. Okay, let's snap back to reality. Okay, it's mad. Uh. Holy moly. Oh my god. He just blew himself up? Yeah, it triggered the booby trap door. And we've started a fire. Jesus, that grenade was so close to blowing my face off. Oh, he is not happy with you. Well, I'm not very happy with him either.
Erg, the fuel would be nice. It sounds like it's right outside. Is that Lambert? He has the glasses. Okay, nice. What is happening? Um. Um, game crashed. Yeah, it's frozen. Oh! Fucking god. I guess the game locked because he like opened the text while the monster pulled you. Yeah, I think so. Having lights on doesn't seem to stop him that much. No. So turn everything off. Make the thing scare here. Like the Frenchmen are liars. I'm sure we'll get it this time. So freaking loud. Did that sound like it just came out? on the hunt. Oh. Just keep quiet, and it'll have no reason to come after me. Not being able to see is a bit of an issue though. That doesn't sound good. Oh! Say good night, Mr. Diaz. The monster came through the store. Can the explosive barrels clear this rubble? Rats! Now these ones are in the way. I don't want your food. I just want to go past you. Damn it! Oh! Hide, hide, hide. Can I go in here? Damn it. Oh, come on. And of course you're locked. I can't kill it, but I can buy some time. It's gone? Seriously?
okay. Oh, there's the music. Christ. Be very quiet. I said be quiet. There's a switch there. And it's off. I need to shoot this. Oh god, this was not a good idea. Fuck you! Hello? That's a oh. slow ass grenade. Oh my god. I just got cocked so hard. Med kit? I assume that heals more. Oh my god, monster, go away. Ow. Ow. And I hit the tripwire. Yeah, hiss at this. See ya. Nice. Well, there was the uh, don't tell mind you. Oh, thanks. Fuck, I tripped it again. Nope. You are one ugly motherfucker. And apparently blind. Does my vision going weird actually do anything? Come on, go away. Oh! <gasps> Fuck! Missed! This fucking monster, I swear to God. Is there really nothing you can do? Well, I missed it. Maybe if I hit it. Hmm. Try dodge rolling next time. Fuck you. Okay, I can't see shit. Let's use that med kit. Oh, bloody hand. Nice detail. Okay, I used my only bullet, so I'll have to blow this open. Oh shit, fire no! I love how your ear, your ears ring when you shoot a bullet, but not when you throw a fucking grenade. My ears are just too buff. The officers have abandoned us. They ran from the beast and blew the exit closed behind them. Even Jow Bear. They called us cowards and traitors and worse, hypocrites. Now they've doomed us. Whatever hell we suffer now, it is on them. God will punish them for what they've done. Okay, I think the main reason for this room was to get to this switch, so I can turn on another switch somewhere down the chain. Not really a puzzle, but close enough. Oh, that was the hole. Yeah, that goes into the communications room, I think. Q. 
Get out of here. Oh, I can open this? Wait, fuck. I tried opening it when I was crouched and hiding. I was probably blocking it with my own body. I'm such a dumbass. I don't know if it'll work, but I want to try unblocking this with an explosion. I hope this doesn't lure the monster back out. Well shit. That was a waste then. What was that thing it said at the beginning of the game? You can overcome most obstacles in multiple ways. Use your wits and your brains. Experiment. If you think something might be possible to do, it probably is. It was probably nothing. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. I do not want to play with you. We finally made some progress. I am not losing it. I do have a couple codes though. Is this really that scary for you too, Fel? I'm just confused, not judging, just confused. Not really, not with you here too. Mm. Smooth. H. Clement, 7447. So this is my own locker. What did I leave for myself? 8th of July, mid-afternoon. Joubert needs a scout for tonight. Routine patrol. Out to the communication wires and back. It'll be cloudy. Good cover. Easiest patrol possible. Sergeant wants me or Augustin to go. He still suspects one of us might have been with the mutineers. But I won't be going. How can I be so sure? Well, Augustin has agreed to a friendly game of chance to determine which of us it will be. And, using an old sleight of hand trick, there's no way I'll lose. Okay, this is before <laughs> no. I went out and found Augustin Lambert then. Augustin doesn't have a chance, because I'll ensure he doesn't. Me? A scoundrel? <laughs> Perhaps. But when he returns and I remind him of the time he pissed in my flask, or the mysterious lice that appeared in my bunk, or the incident with that barmaid. <laughs> well, I laughed in those cases, and he'll laugh in this one. 8th of July, near midnight. Shelling again somewhere along oh, the line? Oh, or not. Them firing That's when I got us. hurt, so it must be a I'm different sure night. I'm sure we will fire at them again soon. I hope Augustan's having a simply marvelous time out there. <laughs> Can't wait to tell him what I did. 9th of July, time unknown. It must be just before dawn. When the shelling stopped, I woke. The sudden silence always does that. Augustin's bunk is empty. I went looking for him. He wasn't in the mess, nor being seen by Dr. Jozinski, nor lurking out for a final smoke. Dax was on patrol. I asked him. He said Augustin hasn't returned from the scout. He said the words like he was pronouncing Augustin's death. As if scouts don't come running back at all hours. As if, as if it wasn't just a routine patrol. As if all hope was lost. Now the shelling is starting again. 
Uh, we'll try to sleep. Hmm. Ninth of July, morning. It has been hours now, and Augustin has not returned. His luck did not hold, and neither has mine. What could I have been thinking? If he is gone forever... But I do not want to write it, for fear writing it will make it real. I will continue to wait in my bunk until dusk. And if there is no sign of him, then... Then... Then I do not know. The priest keeps staring at me, as if he can sense I have some unseen weight on me. I will not give him the satisfaction of a confession. It was nothing. A joke. I, I thought it was just a joke. I, I never thought... I, I never thought... And therein lies my sin. Yeah, I essentially got him killed by cheating. Damn. Me and Lambert? Two bullets. The chance of survival are increasing. Not one, not two, not three, but two. 2180 for Laval. All right, we have a gas mask. I guess that's for using the gas grenades. Little difficult to see out of. Really don't get much of this stuff. All right, let's get this bloody key. Uh. My friend, after the tunnel sabotage, they're increasing security everywhere. I've been commanded to lock the door to communications, but between you and me, I'm going to keep a copy of the key in my bunk in the barracks. You never know when such a thing might come in handy. Sold at Goff. Well, damn it. Which bloody bunk is Goff's? I need this to get in another room. This would be an awkward moment to get chased. What goodies do you have for me in here? Patrol report July 10, 1916. Odd occurrences last night. Sold at Lambert, thought dead after his patrol on the 8th, returned to the barracks in fine health. He carried with him sold at Clement, severely wounded from an explosion. Oh, so Lambert was fine then. That's good. But where is he now? Also, this says we got back on the 9th. It was the 7th or 8th when I cheated and got the other guy killed, right? I must have gone looking for Lambert, dreading it had happened again. Damn. Lambert reports the following. That midway through his patrol on the 8th, he fell into a deep crater and was unable to escape. Clement, his close friend, snuck out after him last night, located him in the crater, and carried him out. Well, there you go. They were spotted, and in the ensuing attack, Clement was injured by an explosion. It fell on Lambert to carry him back. Very odd that Lambert was neither injured from the fall nor the explosion, and that he ended up saving the man who came to save him. But battlefield luck is an odd thing. In every life, fate's winds blow erratic. Judging by Lambert's description, the crater he fell into seems to have been located very close to the Roman tunnels we unearthed. It may have been a result of work down there. Recommend a future patrol investigate and make sure we have not opened up a backdoor into our own bunker. Hmm, interesting. I wonder if the shelling caused the tunnels to cave in. And I wonder if Lambert being so close to the Roman tunnels means anything. God damn it. If it comes in here, I'm absolutely screwed. Fuck, I didn't mean to bring the flashlight out. Grenade? Yeah, I think that's what I want. Frag or gas, though? Let's try gas. Oh. 
okay? Is it gone? Oh, it's the bunks. Goff was the one who had the key. The key should be in his bunk, according to his note. Submap added to the main map in the admin office. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Is that everything in here? Okay, I think the monster is gone. I can stop whispering. Let's check out Goff's bunk. Which was this one? There you are. Well, it's about time. I'm sure everything will go nice and smoothly from here on out. I hope there's a light switch up here. Well, there's a light bulb. Okay, good. To Soul at Farber. I was there when they pulled your friend Neuer from the tunnels. He'd been screaming for hours before he was located. Tied to the stretcher, he was still trying to scream, but all that came out was a horrible rasp. All of the engineers have seen things down there. Myself included. We should talk, you and I, about what is to be done. Let me know when. Ozan. I wonder if Lambert saw anything while he was down in that crater. That's a big-ass lock for a cabinet. If I shoot it off, that monster is definitely coming. I could hide in here though. Farber is gone. Insanity. Chaos. We were in the mess and it burst from the shadows right behind Boron. But Farber was there, ready. Practically threw himself in front of the thing. And he shot it. Hit it dead on. The thing retreated. We thought for sure it was dead. But then, not ten minutes later, it came back for him. I heard him screaming, being pulled into the wall, praying for salvation. And now I can hear it moving again, getting closer. Have to move now, or we'll all suffer his fate. All right, I hope this guy is still alive. The code is three, three, six, nine. Was Jowbear the officer that went crazy? I don't remember now. I hope that you can forgive me. The arsenal code is three, three. I guess this is a recorded message. Well, alrighty, we have the arsenal code. There is some more of the soldier quarters to explore first though. And there's this lock. Two bullets.
cover your ears. See, that's what I mean. Why do your ear rings from a your ears ring from a bullet, but not a grenade? I'm just built different. It's here. I wonder if it hears my heartbeat if I get too scared. There's nothing in here, monster. You may as well just leave. Jow Bear might be alive somewhere, radioing in the code. Go eat him instead. Is it back in the wall? It kinda sounded like it. All right, what goodies did we get? May 14th, 1916. I have spoken to no one of what's written in those texts, I swear it. But now LaRue comes out of the tunnels claiming to have seen things described in them. My rational mind cannot accept that this might be coincidence, nor can it accept the alternative. I have to tell the others what's written in these texts. Tell them. Warn them. May 18th, 1916. They've punished LaRue for speaking out about what he saw and now Reynard has sent for me. I'm sure I am to be punished as well. We're stuck between the Germans in front of us, High Command behind us, and some other horrible force that seems to lurk in shadows all around us. I fear we are now truly beyond God's reach. May 20th, 1916. I've been locked in Dolby's cells for the past two nights. Reynard's punishment for me speaking about the texts. Nightmare after nightmare there. Dreams of darkness. Seductive darkness. Voices there. Welcoming me, I returned to my bunk and was met with the men, all of whom now have tales to tell. Nicolay, Farber, Halbeck, on and on. They're all hearing things. Dreaming things. Nights are now spent in the grip of a fear that crawls up the spine and digs its claws behind the eyes, piercing mind and soul. But after what happened to LaRue and me, none dare speak to the officers. Not even to Jow Bear. And worse, raids are beginning again. I'm to go tomorrow night. May 23rd, 1916. Back from the raid. Can't sleep. Shells falling. The soles of my boots are worn thin, my feet bloody and blistered. Lost too many out there. I feel trapped. May 25th, 1916. Last night the entire barracks was awakened by the sounds from the tunnel. Nightly they grow louder. When I slept, I dreamt of other worlds, of pain wrapped in ecstasy. This morning we are all as ghosts. Things cannot continue this way. I will enter the tunnels and see if I can find some way to end this. For all our sakes. Nothing super helpful in that, but very interesting nonetheless. Don't worry guys, I'll send some Morse code out to high command. Help, scary monster, possibly Roman in origin. Part of the lock? Guess we're done in here then. Oh god, it sounds really close. Oh nice, the map is updated. There was this room in the bottom left that I didn't go in. I would like to check what's in there before continuing on somewhere else. Jesus, that is all the fuel I have. That's not going to last long at all. I'm gonna have to do this quickly. Alright, where's that brick? 
Oh, it's broken though. Is this going to work? Somehow I think it won't. And of course the monster is nearby. Yeah, there's no way. And I already blew up the explosive barrel that was over there. And I left the grenade back in the safe room. I'm gonna have to see if I can find something else. Can I make a Molotov? I'll need fuel in it though. Man, I kinda need all the fuel I can get for the generator though. There is this explosive barrel. Do I hear it walking around down there? That doesn't sound like crawling through walls sounds. Hello? Where is it? Fuck! There you go. That did absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about this, Raddies. Where are you going, asshole? Oh. Keep calm. Don't let it hear you. Fuck! Oh god, that was probably a mistake. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 and hide until it leaves. All right. Now we wait. Is it here? I 
I can't tell if it's come out of the wall. Get out of here. It might have left. Hmm. It's in the walls. What the hell? How'd it know I was here? Out of bullets. Jesus. Give it a rest already. It doesn't help that the power went out. I think it went down the stairs. I'm not sure. Man. Go away. I can't even shoot the explosive barrel cause I'm out of bullets. I don't hear it anymore. Peekaboo?
It's just me. There are no monsters around. I'm perfectly safe. So why am I whispering? Place to hide. July 12th, 1916. Night. Sleepless. Something keeps scratching at the walls. I've heard rats before, of course, but this is different. It's not the subtle, arrhythmic scratch of a rodent. It's louder, steadier. Francois has gone four times now to find the source, and each time returned with no answers. Perturbed. The men like me, who were here during the Roman Tunnel incident, we share skittish looks. We dare not say anything for fear of reprimand, but we don't need to say it. We're all thinking the same thing. Later, something just howled. Not something outside the barracks, something in here with us. Like before. It's like before, but the tunnels are still sealed. They're still sealed, but it wasn't enough. All my brothers, court-martialed and gone, and it still wasn't enough. July 16th, a demon from the tunnels is among us. It's killed Reynard. It will kill all of us, unless, for LaRue, for Toussaint, for Neuer, for Nicolet, Ozan, and Renoir. I will kill it myself. This is why I was not caught. This is my purpose. My revolver is loaded. My will is strong. I'm guessing he died. All this crap on the floor is gonna make noise. Shut up. Okay, kitchen? Fuel would be good. What is that noise? Oh, it's footsteps. Big scary footsteps. This door goes back to the room I kept dying in, I think. Oh, and my heart is beating. Well, that's good, I suppose. I think the darkness is making me nervous. Oh, fuck. 
get through the door. No, no, no. <laughs> Hi. Oh my god. What do you say we try the arsenal? Change of scenery. Another thing I can't interact with. Into a cave? Such a massive bunker yet it always knows exactly where I am. I wonder if it's lonely. To tunnels. Roman tunnels? To spooky scary portal to another world? Chained up though. I really need some bulk cutters or something. Crawl in through the walls. Like a prison escapee. Looking for a tasty snack. And his name is Henri. What happened here? Boucher. Get lost monster. One bullet. I can stun it at least. And then run. Explosive storage. Need me some of those. There's my dynamite. Is this not a door? Weird. The two signs next to it make it look like a door. Arsenal code. 3369. Nice. Oh no. It's in here. Somewhere. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Okay, go back. Can I lock it? I could shoot that barrel if it gets close, but I can't bloody see. 
I don't want to risk using the flashlight. Okay, it's there. Whatcha doing, big guy? Oh god, it's above me. No lock. Oh god, oh no. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Where do I go? Oh no, <laughs> you got stuck in the geometry. No, no. <laughs> That's fucked up, man.